Broadcasting live from the other side of sunny Madison, Wisconsin. It's the last show on Earth with Nate Chapel. Tonight, we'll see vampire magician Magicula and summon ghost of the show Morgan Shutters. But now, the man who put the und in undead, the last host on Earth, Nate Chapel. Randy, Johnny. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the reanimated flesh of the internet. The data that wouldn't die, the last show on Earth. This is episode Undead, which I know makes everybody immediately think of zombies, but we don't have the makeup budget for that, okay? Most of our makeup budget goes to covering up Randy's hickeys. <laughs> Ugh, gross. That makes me wish I was undead. But I'm no zombie, okay? I swear. Go ahead, stab me in the brain if you don't believe me. Please don't. So what else is undead? Let's see. We've got zombies with their tanks and their guns and their guns and their bombs. What else? You got vampires. You've got skeletons. Well, hell, we've all got skeletons. Except for jellyfish, I guess. Which is actually why you never see a ghost jellyfish. And because you're afraid of the ocean. <laughs> so you guys believe in ghosts? I used to be skeptical, but then I got contacts. Oh, sorry, I said that wrong. I used to be bespectacled, but then I got contacts. <laughs> but now that I say it, actually, I guess I was kind of skeptical about the whole ghost thing, too. I think it's because of my religious upbringing, in which I religiously watched Scooby-Doo. Remember, uh, whenever there was a ghost, it always ended up being a movie projector somehow? I mean, I've seen a movie projector, and it looks nothing like a ghost. Well, I guess if you put a sheet over it, it is on wheels. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to look into this when you think about this. Maybe Scooby-Doo does make sense. I guess I don't know if I believe in ghosts now still. I mean, this place is definitely haunted, of course, but I've only ever hung out with this one ghost, Morgan Shutters, so I guess I believe in ghosts. You know, that's the best I can do. I mean, I've seen ghosts like 30 times. That pottery scene like 50 times, if you know what I mean. I had to rewind it because I could never figure out whose hands were whose in all that mess. Nobody puts Whoopi in a corner. Randy? You like that movie? Okay, me too. One thing I like about hanging out with ghosts is that they don't eat all your chips and you can see the TV right through them. What about demons? Are demons undead? I feel like you have to have been alive uh, to be, you know, to undie, for lack of a better word. Is there a demon that just uh, used to be like a regular guy named Steve, you think? Like, sure, he was kind of an asshole, but nothing like the demon he's become. And then angels, too, are they undead? Quick aside about angels here. The wings? A bit showy, no? I mean, I bet they're awesome to have until you realize that you have to clean them and the feathers get stuck in your hair and mouth and really, God could have just given you the ability to fly without wings, much less feathers. The halos, halos are just asking for me to try to throw a wadded up piece of paper in there. You know, stupid angels. What else is undead? What about werewolves, are they? Are they undead? I'm asking for a friend, okay? A teen friend of mine. But I guess they aren't because the werewolf hasn't died, right? What if a vampire bit a werewolf? I mean, it would be a mouthful of hair, sure, but then it would be a werepire. Actually, that doesn't really roll off the tongue. What about a vamp wolf? Uh, copyright, copyright, trademark, trademark, trademark. Vamp wolf. Blood moon. All right, shut down the show, guys. That's the best idea I've ever had, okay? All pants on deck, you guys. Just kidding, everybody. Johnny, pants up. Pants up. And pants up to you at home, too, because it's time for your Morning Affirmation. I'm security guard Carl Lewis with today's Morning Affirmation. Don't forget to come up with a daily affirmation for next week's episode.
Welcome to my Week in Review. I'm Nate Chappell, and this is my week. For my 40th birthday party, my family got me a bouncy castle, fulfilling a long-standing birthday wish to be covered in all of my nieces and nephews' sweat. Seriously, though, it was really fun and really sweaty. This year, I turned the big 4-0 and totally flipped. Twice, actually. I don't have much of a joke for this one. I'm really just showing off. Come on, it's my birthday. For the final day of my birthday week, Finn and Colleen and I went to Lake Joy and jumped around in this lake trampoline. Look at that flip. It's gotta be the shoes. A springy end to a bouncy week. That's my week in review. I'm Nate Chapel saying my week was bouncier than your week. Game. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> you riding your self? Uh, yeah, Just that's kid. It. Good afternoon. I am the great Magicula. And I'm here today to amaze and delight all of you boys and girls with incredible illusions. I want to show you tricks. Have you ever shown up to class and there's a pop quiz? And alas, much to your chagrin, you have no writing utensil? Not me. Tabla! Uh, are you a vampire? Oh. Uh, well, a magician never reveals his secrets. You sound like a vampire. Nonsense. When I was your age, a young boy in Transylvania, low those 1,300 years ago, I loved to drink pop. But there was a neighborhood bully who would always steal my change. So one day, I decided that before that bully could make it disappear, I would. Turn into a bat. But where did it go? I think I hear it. Ka-ching! Loser. Well, aren't you a card? Speaking of cards, as you can see, I have in my hand a completely ordinary deck of playing cards. Here you can see on the bottom of the deck is the king of clubs. But I will now use the power of my mind to reveal that behind every good man is a good woman. Oh, bloody hell. You're right, kid. Who am I trying to fool? I am a vampire. But tonight, I just wanted to be an illusionist. And I know the outfit kind of reads us both. But believe it or not, this is not my vampire cape. My vampire cape isn't so shiny. It's more of a matte finish, you know, for lurking in the shadows. Ever since I was a little kid listening to those soothsayers say sooths, I've wanted to practice the art of illusion. But then one day, I was trying to pull a bat out of my hat, and the son of a bitch bit me. 
Looking back, who could blame him? I had spectacular veins in those days. Not the tiny uncooked noodles I have now. Interesting story, actually. That bat in the hat was Lestat. No, seriously, you can't make this stuff up. But I don't know, kid. Maybe I don't have to touch. I mean, I've been practicing the art of illusion for a thousand years, and still, I'm all thumbs. Slight of hand? Not even slightly. I took a few centuries off, of course, being that everyone was pretty anti-witch. But man, we did communion like no one else. It's like hold the body extra blood. I drink all synthesized blood now, of course. You have to watch your cholesterol when you hit middle age. Not to mention my fangs have practically worn off. Too many Jolly Ranchers. Anyway, who cares? Your kid, you kids don't, that's for sure. Maybe I should have been a clown. Don't say that, mister. No one should be a clown. Come on, you have to have one more trick. You're right, little boy. I do have one more trick up my sleeve. For this next illusion, I will need the assistance of my, well, assistant. Ta-da! Abracadabra! I shall now saw Morgan in half before your very eyes. Ta-da! Thank you, Mrs. Shudders. And a oh, goodbye! Well, uh, I guess for my last trick, I'll give you all what you wanted. Uh, abracadabra! Sorry, kiddos, but I've got to fly! Welcome back to episode Undead of The Last Show on Earth. Tonight's guest currently resides on another plane of existence, so I call a seance. Johnny, want to help me open the portal? Do you say yes to a seance? I say yes to a seance. Okay, okay. That got a little handy. Let's right, just get right. these candles lit. You want to stop that? It's okay. We're going to set these up here. Just light those up. Okay, and you know the song that we always <coughs> sing, the ghost yeah, song? I think so. <coughs> I'm having the, the time, time of my life, and I've never felt this way before, and I swear only you, and I owe it all to you. Ah! 
Oh, oh, Johnny. Well, it's just Morgan, but whoa. I do have to say, that really did startle me there. Whew, I'm glad it worked. Uh, my heart is racing. But ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the spectral plane, it's the ghost with the most. It's Morgan Shutters. Hey, Morgan, thanks for being on the show. Thanks so much for inviting me into the physical plane. Oh, of course. Me plano is su plano. So, how's hunting? Really good, thanks. I'm slamming doors and rattling more chains than ever. I'm flickering lights almost every night. Oh, that was you. I th Johnny thought it was faulty wiring. Well, the very dangerous wiring here does make it easier, to be honest. But yeah, overall, I feel like I'm really at the top of my spooking game. Well, that's bootiful to hear. So, what's next? Well, I decided it was time to give back, so I started a nonprofit. Oh, nice. We don't make any money on this show either. Um, what's your excuse? Well, being an apparition can be very isolating. It's hard to communicate when you exist on multiple planes and are cursed to remain anchored to a particular house, watching you while you sleep. Right. You mean watching over us, right? That's why I started Ghost to Ghost, Coast to Coast. Oh, interesting. What makes it so hard to keep in touch? Well, that's... Just it. Touch. We have no actual matter. I don't say that. You matter to me. Okay, okay. But we physically... Whoa, 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 Casper. I am a happily married man. I'm saying that we can't physically pick up a phone. Oh, duh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> or write a letter or take a bus. Hey, I won't worry about that last one. Well, actually, ghost to ghost, coast to coast, We'll send communications via messenger ghosts who haunt buses, trains, houseboats, bikes, and planes. Uh, what about helicopters? Yes, helicopters too, I suppose. <laughs> cool. Helicopters are cool. If I had a helicopter, know what I'd call it? No, I don't know. Uh, the Chapper. My last name is Chapel. I know. And it's a chopper. <clears throat> so, is there an app for C2G, G2C? It's in development, actually. It's being designed to respond to the sounds of chains rattling or faint screaming. Would you call it an app apparition? No. Come on! No. Okay, okay. We've actually got our first annual scare coming up, where ghosts all around the country will haunt, spook, and poltergeist the night away. And the National Ghost Catcher Corporation, Ghosts Be Gone, has agreed to donate 50% of their proceeds to Ghost to Ghost, Coast to Coast. Well, I know who I'm going to call. Ghost Vegan! And go to www.ghost, the number two, ghost hyphen coast, the number two, coast dot O-R-G for more information. Catch a URL. Thanks. Hey, while you're in the PMP, want to enter the corporeal plane and have a game of haunted quiz? Yeah. Oh, hey guys. Uh, we're going to play the Haunted Quiz. It's going to be uh, so good to be able to touch you in her corporeal form. I looked that word up today, guys. Um, we're going to play a game, and that game is going to be Haunted Quiz. Ooh, it's going to be Morgan versus our very own Viv Chapel. Viv, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, come on in. I have these candles lit for a little mood lighting. Um, Okay, you guys ready? Don't yes. sit on the cat. I'm just kidding. Okay, ready? Um, we're just going to ask questions and you're going to have these squeakers to ring in with. Can we touch the squeakers? Okay, both squeakers are working. Brilliant. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. Ring yes. In. Wait till the question's over then ring in. If you know it. What famed 1990 film starred now defamed actor Bill Cosby as a dead father? Apparition Father. Ghost Dad. Ghost Dad is correct. That's one for Viv. Keep track of your own scores because you know I'm not doing numbers. Okay. Um, what ghost is also a mattress with just the right sink and just the right bounce? Casper. Yeah. It's a podcast ad joke. Uh, oh. Okay. Whoopi Goldberg was in the film Ghost. What is Whoopi's real name? <laughs> Good guess. No, I'm sorry. I don't know. I forgot to look this up. <laughs> to be very honest. It's Karen something, though. Oh. Her first name is Karen. Let's just say that, okay? So, uh, what film 
uh, did Karen Whoopi star in opposite of Ted Danson? Not ghost related. It's a romantic comedy. They ended up dating. No idea. Made in America. Um, what Ted Danson movie reportedly had a ghost outside the window in one such scene? Um, Three Men and a Baby. Yeah. Whew. It was really cleaning up. Um, what is a haunting called where stuff gets moved around? You know, stuff gets pushed off of bookcases and stuff. <laughs> I should know more about these. Uh, you should. You said it earlier. Poltergeist. Oh, I was going to guess that. Well, you should have. What haunting movie was TV coach Craig T. Nelson the star of? <laughs> and it's also a form of haunting where stuff gets moved around. Uh, Morgan. <laughs> Poltergeist. Oh, you got it. Uh -huh. um, what horror film that shared a name with a popular hospital drama starring Hugh Laurie had the tagline, Knock, knock, you're dead. House. Yeah. <laughs> Um, one more question. If you were trying to be clever and use alliteration, what would you call a ghost wand? A ghost wand. Um. <laughs> pretty stupid. Uh. A boobaton. I'll give it to boobaton. I was going for a specter scepter. Ah. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our game. You had four, you had one, two. Okay, well, she gets three points for every one of her points, so looks like Morgan wins. I don't know. I'm not good at math. I just said I wasn't very good at, at numbers, didn't I? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our show. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Morgan Shutters for conjuring onto the show tonight. And, as always, a big thanks, as always, a big thanks to the two human wrecking crew, Viv Chapel and Johnny Fisher. Finn Hammond and Tyler Renzer have been the music for tonight's show. Check out Tyler on SoundCloud and look for Finn on the inside of your eyelids as you fall asleep. I found it there. Coming up next, Wolfhog TV presents the middle section for Morgan Shutter's last haunting of the show. Thanks for watching us tonight, creeps. And remember that we're watching you too. And as Sir William Robert Thornton said in Sling Blade, It ain't got no gas in it. Good night. see anything. Uh, can't seem to get this thing to work. In terrible design. Seems this ghosting cloak appears to lack adequate accommodation for visual acuity. In layman's terms, no eye holes. But I think there will be plenty of time for learning the art of ghosting. I'm just relieved to be out of limbo, honestly. I remember in my youth playing limbo on the beaches of Waikiki while well, father charted the thermal variations of the volcano that would eventually be responsible for his tragic debt. <coughs> Excuse me, his debt, his tragic debt. We could not afford to live, to be living in Hawaii for four years with father essentially doing the work a thermometer could do. But upon that beach, with a belly full of poi, I would quickly scrawl in sand calculations to determine the angle required to get my tarot tummy beneath that limbo stick, and I would shuffle underneath that party pole with but nanometers to spare. That was limbo. That was fun. This other limbo, well, there aren't any games at all. No books, pens, notebooks, beakers, chemical compounds, lecture series, anime. Nothing fun. Just nothing. After a while, you can't even think. No input, no output. Luckily, same for food. 
Anyway, very peaceful but boring. And you know that feeling when you go to the closet to grab something and you forget what you went there for at all? That's limbo. That feeling the whole time, whatever time is. So I'm sorry if I'm talking your ear off. I just haven't said anything in so long. But I just got caught up on my tweets at Dr. Sodden Trouser, just like it sounds. And I want to say thanks for all the concern you guys have shown. As a man of science, I cannot accept your prayers, but I can and will gather and analyze your thoughts. I must say, while I am disappointed to have so abruptly ended my life's work prematurely, I am very interested to begin my research into this uncharted dimension, this lower astral plane. Speaking of, I had an orientation of sorts scheduled. I wonder where this ghost is. Hello, hello. So sorry to keep you waiting. We oh. had an exorcism. Got a little messy. A lot of vomit from that one. Anyway, let's take a look at your paperwork here, Mr. Sodden Trouser. Is that German? Embarrassing to have that name, Sodden Trouser. Well, no, actually. Well, that would it be embarrassing. Moving right along. I see you got your sheet. So oh, yes, about that. This ghosting cloak appears to lack adequate accommodation for visual acuity in layman's terms. The eye holes. Yeah, precisely. Yes, of course. We'll need to measure you for those. You have very closely spaced eyes. Hmm, thank you. Not at all. We have new recruits wear a name tag for the first couple months. Okay. Uh, until you get to know our names? Until we decide we've embarrassed you enough. Hmm, that makes sense. This is even worse than Limbo. Yeah, Limbo is Friday's. Oh, uh, no, actually, my name is spelled with a K, not a C, and actually, this else is a Carl. Uh, That's your name, Doctor. Don't wear it out. I fear there's been some mistake here. Uh, Are you not Dr. Carla Sodentrozer? Uh, again, no, I am not. Hmm, let's see. Um, so you are... Dr. Carl Sodentrozer. Huh. What? I'm just surprised you never changed it. Well, Carla, sorry, Carl, I'm not sure what's going on here, but I unfortunately do not have time to look into it right now. I'm supposed to be a ghost on Wolf Out tonight, but we'll get this sorted out, but for now, I have to ask you to... Limbo. Bingo. Don't call me. I'll call you. da 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 Ooh, spooky, scary! Everyone is very scared from all the ghosts and the goblins and the ghouls. What I want to say is, I want to tell you good night and good nachos.